Germany is extending temporary border controls that it already has in place at some of its borders to all of its land borders, the Interior Minister has said. So, we are strengthening our internal security through concrete action and we are continuing our tough stance against irregular migration, Faza said in a news conference on Monday. It is important for us to act in close partnership with our neighbors and to minimize the impact on commuters and everyday life in border regions, Faza said. Controls on the borders with France, Luxembourg and Netherlands, Belgium and Denmark would begin on September 16. I repeat, controls on the borders with France, Luxembourg, the Netherlands, Belgium and Denmark will begin on September 16, Faza said, initially lasting for six months. The center-left German government has been consulting with main opposition Christian Democratic Union on ways to curb migration in the face of public concerns and following a deadly knife attack by a Syrian asylum seeker last month in the city of Solingen. You see, let us be true to ourselves. Eh? What German is doing is what every country can do because the first constitutional duty of every country is to protect life and property. And truth be told, if the problem too is that some of the foreigners are not reading the news or they are not keeping their ears to the news, if you are keeping your ears to the news, you will see that the last two, three years, the rate of crime in Germany has increased. Yes, you can't even imagine it. And to even make matters worse, sometimes some of their citizens even generalize it. Some of them, their points are very valid. If you read some of their points, their points are very, or their comments are very valid. They feel concerned about their country and about their safety. And, but another thing some of them miss is that it's not just people from third world country that is coming here to commit some certain crime. Some crimes are even being committed by some neighboring small European countries who have access to come into Germany or other European countries who have easy access to access these countries. Because if you keep your ears to the news, you follow the news, you will see that some of the crimes are even being committed by people who drive from neighboring European countries who have easy access to access Germany or other countries. But at the end of the day, if you are a foreigner living in Germany or you have your residence permit, if you are traveling through this border starting from 16th of September, hold your residence permit to save yourself a whole lot of stress. And if you are the type, your plan, you don't have residence in Germany or you want to cross German border just apply that method that we see in africa where they wrote car owner car parked at owner's risk that means where you want to park your car you are not allowed to park there yes so if you decide to park there whatever you see you take so this six months might even be extended because you know that germany is going to have an election next year yes and this is an election year in most of the countries in the west that is why you see that immigration or irregular migration has, in fact, it is the hottest topic. It is the most trending topic in the political corridors. Yes, it is the most talked topic by politicians at the moment.